been great because through being a student, I understand what our students will feel and what impact we have in their lives. And me being a facilitator today, I think that is very advantageous because I'm in a position where I understand both sides now. And that's the most important thing, to link the two so that we're not too far apart. Otherwise, if you do not connect with our students, if you do not connect with them, speak their language, yeah. speak their language, it's going to be difficult to yeah. share. Them. And challenging and seeing other females. So technically, I was inspired by the fact that there's females here. You guys accommodate females. It's not only a male-driven place, it's also female-driven. Living and working on the agri-skills transfer farm changed your perception of agriculture. Living here has changed my perception on agriculture in terms of understanding the grades, the consistency, the, the level of motivation you need to have to wake yourself up every day to not only do the same thing like feeding like feeding every day doesn't just mean feeding every day but paying attention to the weight gain of the animals perfecting it loving the actual process the actual process on its own is more important than just understanding that a cow can grow that not only will you um take a lot of like grab a lot of knowledge when it comes to farming is that you also create some sort of family mm -hmm. because now we came yeah, here living in race mm -hmm. you create a second family for life for life, life. Yes. exactly and also business partners for life mm -hmm. yeah. 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 produces quality farmers by the way yeah. just to put that out there <laughs> so we are quality farmers we are the next generation like, we want to inspire the youth to not just to come to that yeah yes, to, to not stop where our ancestors stopped mm -hmm. to continue the dream, you know, yeah. to continue feeding, not give up, don't mm -hmm. give up. And trust me, most of us are actually smarter than you think. It's just that we're being held back by social media. Yes. You know? And if you join this um, uh, industry, a you're the movement of, of young black female farmers yes. who are going to farm for the future. It pushes you to, to think more and to not underestimate yourself. Just because you're short, she's very short. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself, mm. if you say, think I can, I can never imagine that I can drive a tractor, and now you all can. Yeah, yeah. 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 like nobody's business. And yeah. it's for us to inspire all the young ladies out there to know that um, agriculture is not only for men, it's, it's also so for women. Regardless of the size that you have, how short or how tall you are, or how insecure you are, this place can just make it's it. It's a hard thing. Yeah. Regardless of whether it's hard or not, but you can still do it because we build a family here. We help one another in terms of everything, the social life and also business. And the school mm -hmm. yeah. 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 supports My farming dream is to own my own factory that produces wool from sheep. Yeah. And then also to produce um, eggs. I've already started actually with my egg production. Oh, please you, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. yes. And you? Oh, my dream is to um, a sunflower farm. I want a sunflower so I can like produce uh, pets, like food for pets, yeah. and then feed and all the byproducts and the oils and all.